Welcome to VicoCo, the online vegan cooking school. My name is Steve Lin, and today I'm presenting spaghetti squash with Alfredo. One of the reasons why it's called spaghetti squash is because the strings that we, after you roast it, you fork them up and they look exactly like spaghetti. So you can use it very similar techniques as spaghetti. So we're going to start off by cutting off the ends. Now it's a bit wobbly, so we're going to make sure, try and find the most secure side stick the tip of your knife into it, push all the way down and go around. Again, around and again, around. And then you have your end come off. And then again, here we just need that little piece right there to come off. So just to go down right at the edge like that. So we're just gonna cut lengthwise. We have now a serrated knife. We're just gonna put this here at the edge and we're just gonna go very slowly, careful of your fingers, all the way through. So as you can see, I have it half. This was very tough skin. It was very, a little bit maybe underripe, makes it a little bit tougher to cut, but we're gonna make it, you're gonna see, it's gonna still work beautifully. We're just gonna take out the seeds and the inside here, just pulling it towards you, like so. You can save these seeds if you want to roast them. They're beautiful and they taste fantastic. So now we have our squash halved. I've scooped out all the seeds and the pulp on the inside as much as I wanted to. I'm going to put it into the roasting pan. So we're going to leave them in half like this because what's going to happen is when they roast, you want them, this contact surface in the pan to actually steam a little bit. So then you get this beautiful, beautiful string spaghetti structure. If you cut this in half or you try and cube it, it's gonna be a bit more mushy and not as flavorful. So you wanna keep it half exactly like this, just two pieces, drizzle a little bit of olive oil, some salt and some pepper. Again, if you don't wanna add pepper, not a problem, just add some salt and then we're gonna flip it over and roast it. So here we have our spaghetti squash. It's been in the oven for about half an hour and it's cooled for about 15 minutes or so. So I can touch it without burning myself. It's not too hot. We still want it to be a little bit warm to make it a little bit easier. So we're just gonna flip it over. See that beautiful color in there. Just take the fork, so, and just gently start pulling on these strands. Just like so, keep going back and forth. You're just gonna really just try and pull out as much of the spaghetti as you want. So I'm just gonna kind of, I don't really wanna make it into long strings. If you wanna do really long strings, you have to really start slow from down here and pull very gently and you will get these beautiful, so you can see these beautiful sort of spaghetti strings. And you can take those out and you can use them however you want. But for me, I wanna kind of pull them right to the middle, a little bit shorter because it'll be a little bit easier to eat when I actually roast this finally. We're gonna start off with a pan, get it to a medium high heat. We're gonna add in some olive oil and our onions and we're gonna sweat them down a little bit. Now I'm gonna add my roasted garlic. I pre-roasted this already and I'm just gonna take from the bottom and squeeze out all that beautiful garlic. You can also use fresh garlic if you don't wanna roast garlic, but it does add a little bit more complexity to the flavor. I'm gonna add some smoked tofu. If you don't have smoked tofu, you can just omit it and it's not a big deal. We're gonna fry that for about a minute or two. And we're just gonna let the smoked tofu come out. Really, you're gonna to wanna to smell that smoked tofu and then you'll know it's ready to go for the next step. So from here, I'm gonna add the cream. And I wanted to quickly talk about this because vegan cream can be a whole host of different things for different people. This is high fat cream, so it's about 30% fat content, which is really important when you make this. If you have a fat content that's somewhere around 4% to 14%, this dish is gonna to be too watery, too thin, so you're gonna to have to thicken it somehow. But because this is a high fat one, we're gonna be able to throw it in there and simmer it down. And there's one more step that we can do. We're gonna not do it today, but you can do this if you want, is you can throw some white wine in there and it adds even more complexity to the flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt in there and a touch of nutmeg and let it simmer for about three to five minutes. I'm gonna add in some vegan cheese. If you have some vegan Parmesan, that works really great. So, but this is what I have. So I'm just gonna add it in there 
let that melt and then take it off the heat. You know your sauce is ready when you, when you pull on it like this and the sauce doesn't immediately fill back in, it's ready to go. So it's ready to go, I'm gonna top up our spaghetti squash. I'm just gonna put a nice, fairly thick layer right over top of our squash, sprinkle a bit more cheese on top and put it in the oven to bake. Added some cheese to it. I'm gonna throw it into the oven about 210 degrees until the cheese is nicely melted. With vegan cheese, you may or you may not get a little bit of color onto it. Either way, it's totally great. We have our Alfredo spaghetti squash. It's been in the oven about half an hour. It's beautiful melted cheese on top and we're gonna go and plate it. Some fresh pepper. Just a little bit of fresh parsley. You can use any fresh herb you want. Just like so. And you have a beautiful spaghetti squash.